Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 6, 2024. Well, my goodness, this morning we have the market extremely happy, popping big time here with the election now in the rear view. Um, honestly, kind of surprised to see the market celebrating this win this much. But there we have it. Let's take a look at what happened overnight here. Well, first off, um, Asian markets were a little bit mixed last night. Um, Australia was up 0.83%. Uh, the Nikkei was up 2.61% uh, or 1,000 in five points. Um, India was up 1.12%, uh, 270 points up while well, South Korea was lower Hong Kong was lower by 468 points or 2.23 percent and Shanghai declined by 0.09 percent if we look at European markets this morning they are green across the board but not showing uh, the wild bullishness that we're seeing here in the U.S. we have the uh, DAX up um, 89 points at four point four six percent the footsie's up 86 points um, up 1.4 percent and the cac being up 67 points or up 0.19 percent here in the u.s futures we are soaring dow futures this morning at this very moment up 1207 uh, dollars um, or 2.84%. The S&P 500 futures up 119 points, 2.06%. And the NASDAQ futures zooming up 284 points at 1.40%. If we take a look at our bonds this morning, bonds are also higher. We're continuing to see that problem here in bonds. Two-year bond is up 4.27%. At 4.27%, the 10-year bond has jumped up to 4.47% with a 30-year at 4.66%. So we'll want to be keeping an eye on that and maybe even watching for a potential of a whipsaw with this giant open this morning. If we take a look at oil prices here this morning, oil is looking lower. We're down a dollar a barrel at $70.99. Um, a barrel. We've got Brent down also a dollar uh, 99 cents at 78.54 a barrel and natural gas turning just a little bit lower here this morning um, but um, may actually uh, try to bump back up out of there. We'll see we're, we're only down about half of a cent in natural gas. Taking a look at precious metals, we're getting a big change here in metals here this morning. GLD dropping this morning pretty hard. Right now, gold futures are sharply lower, down $36.40 an ounce. Silver is down, copper, platinum, and palladium all moving lower here this morning. If we take a look at uh, the US dollar, it is zooming to the upside here this morning really ripping um heading to the well new highs here of recent time and you can see where we could be well looks like we're going to test this resistance right in here and we could move on higher so keep an eye on that as the dollar runs up watch for those commodities to potentially fall and then if we take a look at cryptos they are zooming here today bito getting a huge pop here this morning up five thousand and fifty five dollars a coin this morning seven point two seven percent ether is up eight point six four per eight point four six percent at two hundred and five dollars a coin higher and we are green across the board in cryptos this morning so very very happy on the crypto front so what does all that mean for today well how about we settle in let's buckle up Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. 
Let's take a look at some of these charts this morning, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. And remember, we want to look at them without a bias. We don't want to be rushing in to um, a, a big old trap. So make sure we shake off that bias and take a look at the charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be. Well, obviously yesterday we had the market apparently predicting uh, this election outcome and was pretty happy about it and zoomed up here um, on Tuesday and this morning we are not only gapping um, uh, up to um, uh, and breaking resistance levels we are gapping up looking to open at a new record high here on the diamonds now when you move that big that fast you have to think about the possibility of a whipsaw and that possibility that um, there'll be a lot of profits that could be made today and folks will be taking advantage of that gap with a little bit of selling. I'm not going to say that it's going to pull all the way back in any way, shape or form, but watch for that possibility that we could quickly start to find some sellers here in the market and relieve some of that upside pressure here in the market. So bulls looking good. Blue sky above for the bulls. Now, if the bears were to find um, any kind of inspiration, well, first thing, pushing back to see if we can catch this price level right in here um, as a little bit of support. And if that were to fail, then I'm going to suggest that right down in here, somewhere in the middle of that candle, breaking below that, well, I'm going to suggest we come all the way back here and retest this price support. And honestly, over the next few days, I don't think anyone could see that as a major surprise over the next few days. If we were just going to, after such a big pop, just kind of rest or pull back and look for um, a place where we can resume an upside trend. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, big popper here today as well. New record highs in the SPY after zooming up, breaking the downtrend, big gap up um, again. Um, blue sky highs above here in this chart. No reason to believe that's going to change by the time the market opens, but we'll want to be paying attention to that possibility if the bears find any kind of inspiration, maybe a little rest or pullback or even just a little profit taking wave, pull back, um, test some support in here. And if that were to fail, maybe coming on back down in here to test that area. Of course, we could come all the way back and fill that gap, testing that upside, that trend break here as a possible support before maybe turning back to the upside. If we take a look at our QQQ, very different circumstances here today as well in the Qs. Popping up huge, as you can see, gapping up, getting back above its downtrend. We'll be watching in here to see if the bulls can continue to find inspiration here today. Then a press a little bit higher right up into here we could um, break all-time highs here in the queues on the day. It seems um, like uh, with the bullishness that we've got in the market this morning, might not be all that hard for that to occur. If the bears, and of course blue sky above after that, if the bears find inspiration, well, you can see right here holding this little price support would be um, uh, bullish for the, the chart, but a little press back to maybe fill this gap if some profit taking comes in would not be out of the question. And then I do see that possibility maybe that we rest in here and continue on higher. And then if we take a look at our IWM here today, IWM a zooming move here this morning, just taking off like a rocket ship ride. And if you'll take a look, we're gonna open up, not only break these recent highs, but we're gonna open up above these highs out here in 2021 um, and 2022 high would be our next target up here to be looking for so i'll just move that line up here somewhere up here could be the next target and potential all-time high 
um, um, if we can break through that. Now, of course, if the bears, if the bears can find any kind of inspiration here today, then a pushback in here to test these highs at 2021, 2022 area would not be out of the question. And even a pullback in here, maybe to uh, close up some of that gap in here, resting, consolidating in that pullback um, before we get um, that opportunity to move on higher. Let's take a look at our VIX this morning. Our VIX is going to probably change in a very big way this morning. Um, we have um, obviously this upside trend going on, but the bulls are um, likely going to hard reject this area here this morning with the bullishness that we see and uh, we'll watch and see if we can break down below this area of price support in the chart if we can then we start moving back down progressively through these areas of the chart to see um, where we're going to come to rest here at this point so watch that closely remember if those um, um, bears were to find some kind of inspiration here today if we were to whipsaw we could easily see this bounce off of this trend in here and start pushing up just a little bit as well so watch that carefully if we were to break out of this area here on some fear then let's take a look at our t2122 our T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. With this big gap up this morning, we are going to gap up into the bear, uh, bearish reversal zone. As a matter of fact, we will be close, I'm guessing, to probably pegging this up here at the high point. Now remember, this cannot go beyond 100, and once we get up into here, we always want to be watching for that potential on a gap up, that potential of a fade or a whipsaw. So be careful up here, but we're going to go from kind of, well, close to an oversold area here in T2122 to an extreme overbought uh, situation here in the market in two days. So watch carefully again for that potential whipsaw. We are really celebrating in the market today. Then if we take a look at our T2108, well, this has been languishing here, had a good upside day yes, um, yesterday, but with the zoom that we're getting in the market this morning, I would expect to see a very big change here in T2108 this morning, likely breaking well above the 50% area here in the chart. And we could uh, see those zoomies maybe bring us all the way up back up in here to test some of that downtrend um, in the chart. Now, um, again, when you zoom that far, that fast, you have to watch for that potential pullback and that potential um, fade here on the day. Now, T2107, same thing. Um, we have held above our 50% area here, and we're up here testing that uh, downtrending area here in the chart. I'm guessing this big zooming move, we could easily be up here testing these areas um, right at the open of the day and then once again watch for that potential fade. If we look at our T2101, well we saw our breadth decline yesterday on that upside move. It'll be interesting to see today if we get breadth follow through to the upside and I'm gonna guess we probably will with such a zooming move here in the market there better be some breadth follow through or we would expect some substantial whipsaw here in the market so watch that carefully here today bulls um, clearly very happy here this morning let's take a look at our economic calendar here on the day our economic calendar um, well we've got um, a little bit to uh, be considering here besides um, the election celebration um, the FOMC meeting begins today and we're going to get mortgage applications this morning we're going to get a PMI composite final We've got petroleum status numbers coming in today. We're going to have bond auctions on a four month and a 30 year. Might be kind of interesting seeing those bond yields racing to the upside here and that strength in the dollar. So watch that carefully here as we go through that. And then looking into Thursday, 
that tension will ramp up just a little bit with jobless claims, productivity and costs, wholesale inventories, natural gas report, and then of course in the afternoon the FOMC trade decision or decision and uh, the Fed press conference, which could be another reason as we were waiting for this, the hesitancy on this, the big gap up that we're getting here today, we would watch carefully for that possibility that we could fade back and maybe go into a little bit of a choppy resting day as we wait for the FOMC. Well, who knows? Uh, market is pretty wildly um, celebrating this morning. And then uh, Friday, we have not much going on in here except some Fed speakers after we get through the Fed. And um, we've got a consumer sentiment and a Baker Hughes rate count to be thinking about. Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar here for today. And it is a whopper of an earnings calendar. We've got a bunch going on here and there's no way I can cover all of these here today. So um, if you guys could do me that favor, if you could click that link below the title of the video, that'll take you back to the morning blog. It's where you can get that full list of notables, but we're gonna hear from things like um, AEP this morning. We're gonna hear um, from things like um, uh, CLVT, we're going to catch report um, DIN, IRM, uh, KMT, um, MAC, um, ODP. We've got OC in there. We're going to hear from um, SHOP. We're going to hear from uh, TEVA. So we've got a big day of earnings reports here this morning. And then after the bell today, it's huge. We have just a huge number of earnings here. We'll be hearing from uh, like ARM, um, uh, BMBL will be reporting. We're gonna hear um, um, from just a huge number of stocks um, here. Fastly, we've got uh, Lazard in here. We've got um, Marathon Oil. We've got uh, MCK reporting. Um, Upwork is in there. Trip is in there. Um, so we've got um, a busy, busy afternoon of earnings reports to be paying attention to. So make sure you click that link below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon uh, when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who continues to do that. I apologize I didn't get to answer those yesterday, but even though I didn't sleep much last night, staying up and watching those election returns until 1 a.m., I actually slept about three and a half hours. So, um, but I will be back on task at, as answering those questions and uh, comments for today. So thank you everyone, I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. Remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence, be very, very careful here in the market, and make sure you're paying very close attention to your rules and your guidelines. Should never ever just blindly follow someone else's trade ideas. Well, first off, I'm gonna mention NVIDIA in here, and NVIDIA continues to make that climb here in the chart. Um, and it looks like there's a possibility we could test the all-time highs here in NVIDIA and remembering NVIDIA will become a part of the Dow Jones Industrial Average here on Friday and we're likely to see um, a lot of energy come into this as a result uh, just because all of the um, 
401k plans and everything um, have to make adjustments to include NVIDIA in that index. So watch that closely. Now at the same time, um, Intel will be removed from that list and oftentimes a stock like um, Intel will find a pullback as a result. Um, a lot of selling could come into Intel as they um, readjust their portfolios. Now keeping in mind in here this big gap up this morning finally pushing up into some resistance here um, into that chart and you guys have known I've talked about this before that possibility if um, Intel doesn't sell off no, notice this nice gap up in here that could be filled if Intel can continue to find that inspiration despite the removal from the Dow. So watch that carefully. Then we have um, take a look at some of the cruise lines in here. My goodness, cruise lines are looking really good. RCL, very, very bullish chart, breaking through to um, highs here this morning in the gap up. Watch for any kind of arrest or pullback could set up an opportunity on RCL. You can look do, do the same there on CCL breaking out here on CCL looking very strong um, and see um, LH Norwegian cruise also just showing tremendous bullishness here keep an eye on those um, you might want to be keeping an eye on um, FedEx FedEx has been pushing up here trying to deal with this resistance in the chart and this is in a price pattern where we're trying to come up through the 50 right now so i would watch that closely with the bullishness of the market today there may be that possibility that we could pop through and if not today maybe give this some more time to rest in here and press against that then maybe we can see fedex pop through there so keep that on the list um, ups as you can see had that really big pop on on its earnings resting back to this support and I would keep an eye on this area in this rest back to see if that can hold for that potential upside here when it comes to anything commodity guys um, I would be really cautious of them today you guys know that I was watching um, um, soybeans for that bottoming pattern but I gotta tell you with the dollar zooming up like this I would be really cautious and careful on some of those today with the election uh, now behind us I expect the banks to get some big benefit um, out of this take a look at stocks like Morgan Stanley just zooming up here trying to break through to uh, well not trying to it's gonna break new record highs here uh, JP Morgan ripping through to new record highs um, Bank of America just taking off like a rocket ship and we're gonna be up here uh, popping through a new record high so look at those banks a lot of those should look pretty good you might also want to look at pay systems like visa take a look at sq could be an interesting position for a pickup looking good in there even paypal could um, maybe benefit here on that side of things so keep an eye on some of those stocks looking pretty good uh, CPNG CPNG on its earnings report yesterday um, kind of disappointed dropping here um, below a little bit of support bullishness in the market though today might pop that back up above this support so still might be worth keeping an eye on if this can break back higher and rest in here but I would not be too surprised if that continues that move to the downside places that you might find some shorts take a look at stocks like uh, for solar um, anything in the solar area or renewables will likely get some punishment today with the change of leadership in the market or change of leadership in the white house so watch that carefully here for any of those um, looks like they're going to take a little bit of a hit today uh, for that um, potential so watch any of those solars green energies of any kind could find some pressure or pain now when i say green you know a lot of people think of tesla 
and I would say Tesla is going to benefit um, here dramatically today. Big gap up here, breaking through resistance, and we are stretching back up to test some um, highs up here in the chart. So Tesla getting some major benefit here in the market. Now, um, other places that you might look for a little bit of shorting and selling, be pretty watchful here of some of the stocks in the oil sector. Although we are gapping up here this morning, remember the dollar is also surging to the upside. So though we're popping up here on all this enthusiasm, don't be too surprised to see oil suffer as the dollar strengthens, if it continues to strengthen anyway. So watch that closely. Although we're popping up, watch for that potential um, that they could pull back on that commodity change here in the market. So quite a few things moving on around here today. A lot of activity should be expected. A lot of volatility should be expected um, this morning. So make sure you're prepared for that. Protect yourself and try not to over trade. Remember the market right now, extremely emotional in um, these moves in the market, really emotional and um, when we go from an over kind of an oversold area to an overbought area so quickly, um, we may have to rest for a long period of time. We may have to pull back and consolidate for a period of time to absorb that move and really get our feet back on the ground here um, and, and what the ramifications of um, this change in leadership is going to mean for the market. For now, we're very happy and really uh, supporting it, but be careful at racing in because there could be that profit-taking wave on this big gap up this morning. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thanks so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Um, I'll see um, everyone over in the RWO room. May not be quite as bright-eyed and bushy-tailed as normal since I didn't get much sleep, but you know what? It's going to be a great day. Y'all take care, be safe, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. And as always, I wish you all the very best.